What's going on, everyone? Welcome to another Screen Sanctum reaction. I'm Steve, and today it's here, Loki season two. Big day for me. I had Our Flag Means Death season two and Loki season two. So exciting times for everyone. I'm really looking forward to this season. I loved Loki season one as much as everyone probably loved this, uh, this show season one. It was so good. Um, last we left off was actually in Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania where they defeated Kang for the time being. So we will see exactly how that ties into this show. And if this show ties into anything else immediately after. Um, looking forward to seeing what Mobius is up to and Sylvie and the whole crew. So let's just get right into it. If you've already subscribed to my channel, thank you so much. And if you want to see my full reactions, like my full watch alongs to this episode, check me out at Patreon at Screen Sanctum. All right. Season two, episode one, our, o our Oberos. I don't think I'm pronouncing that right, but here we go. Season two, episode one, our Oberos in three, two, one, go. Woo! Opening Marvel fanfare with some spooky Loki type music. There he is. Kang the Conqueror is here. Oh, this is... Yeah, I think this is literally the end of season one. Damn. It's me. Whoa. What the? Oh, man. There's our man. Oh, my God. He's listening to relaxing music while that just happened. I'm fine. I like that it like picks right up. Morning. Ooh, that's not good for not good for that person. Casey, help me. Please tell me you know what's going on. Do you remember me? I got him. I got the intruder. I got the intruder. They do not remember him. <laughs> oh, shoot. Loki. What? Just a second ago. Well, you didn't know me. Same logo. Casey. Something terrible is happening. Has it always been there? The crack? It's been there as long as I can remember. I was in the past. Oh my god. It's probably in uh Chrono Bay 3. So Oh shit. God damn. Damn, that sacred timeline is gone. Hey, everything you've been doing is wrong, <laughs> and all your gods are dead. How are people going to take that? <laughs> Loki was just here looking for you. Loki's here? was and then he disappeared i don't understand maybe miss minutes can locate him miss minutes doesn't like loki you just saw him i did that definitely looks painful i wonder if he's shifting between two specific times and that's it so he got to the wrong war room yep kang 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 kang
That was amazing. Everyone who works for the TVA. A life. Hmm. Caught him in 4K. We just need a moment to explain. Make it make sense. <laughs> I don't know if you can make it make sense. It's pretty remarkable and out of control. You are quite a marvel. Oh, shoot. I will be proud to lead with you. He's probably talking to Renslayer, huh? For us, for all time. Always. Yep. Wenslayer had a life on the timeline. On the record, 15. To hell with the record. <laughs> and so did you. So did I. Yep. Look, we get the concerns because we had them also. With all due respect, ma'am. We haven't been protecting. We've been destroying. She's not wrong. I have to take a moment. She is we good. A moment. You've made your position clear. So we don't have time for protocol now? And you've made your position clear. Pretty true. They wanted it all to be protocol until she started speaking some truth. And then they don't want to hear it. Tell the TVA to stop pruning. Effective immediately. Oh my god. There he is. Hey, help me. Hey, what just happened? Just a moment ago. You didn't Everyone, know. Stand no. down. Tell me you recognize me. Stand you down. Me? Wakey, wakey. We found him. Who? Him. Loki? Ooh. Damn. Ho ho ho. That's who built this place. That's who stole your lives. I said it at the end of time. But we're saving him. I don't know if she's still there. I just wanted time to think. It was an impossible choice. I mean, if you want to do it all over, just prune yourselves you'll end up there maybe he was but maybe he wasn't that one might not have been and she kept me through a time door well I'd ask who won but <laughs> Yeah, right. Both kicked each other through time doors simultaneously. <laughs> he built this place. No. Oh, how would I not remember that? Mm. Because he... he wiped your memories. Yep. I was in the past. What do you mean in the past? Where in the past? Here, here, the past TVA. No. happening to me it's impossible <laughs> it's possible Mobius. No, it's it's not. Not. Mobius, you gotta believe him why would he lie about this what is it how does it how does it look <laughs> it looks gruesome i mean how does it feel <laughs> yeah let's swing you by repairs and advancement come on <laughs> i'll have a look at you where's that we need to be back in there oh, come <laughs> repairs Disappearing. We don't have time. Oh, yeah, that looks Just brutal. <laughs> I thought you said I didn't know that bad. <laughs> it's terrible. It looks like you're being born or. 
it's actually really look, painful. It's not that bad. I can handle it. How does it look? Oh my god. <laughs> it's been a while since I've been down here. Oh nice. We're getting him in episode one. I love it. Welcome to RNA. The man. Good. We're in the right place. Wow. Great to see you again. Good to see you too. Kihu yeah, Kwan. Right. How long has it been? He does not even remember him. How long him. has it been? Uh... 400 years. What? Feels like a thousand, right? Yeah. What? Remember? He hasn't seen him in 400 years? You know about the timekeepers and... Oh! That, that's what's been happening. I, you know that? Yeah. You've seen that? <laughs> yeah. Can you fix that? Nope. No. <laughs> oh, man. Ouroboros. OB? I like that. Uh, <laughs> do I know you? It's complicated. I've been pulled through different times in the TV. Time slipping. That. You just saw it. Happen. Yeah, I'm having trouble reconciling. <laughs> I know it looked like your phone was time slipping. That guy that was here, what was his name? Loki? Yeah. A long time ago, he came to me complaining about time slipping. Oh my God. So. Wow. That's crazy. That makes perfect sense. There's no flaw in that logic. Yeah. <laughs> I think I will remember that. Yes, you wouldn't remember. It didn't yeah, happen yet. Happened you, yeah. <laughs> Good point. If it were possible to time zip with the TVA, how might one remedy that? Need a temporal aura extractor. Do you have one of those? I do not. <laughs> one temporal aura Oh my god, extractor. so we just made it, Great. so now it's gonna show up. Wait. Yes? <laughs> I actually do have an extractor here. This is so cool. Violently rip myself from every thread of time and space. <laughs> All the that means prove yourself. I mean, you were pruned before. Of course. You know how it feels. Yeah. How if it's... you fall into a black hole, you turn into spaghetti? No. <laughs> what? Good. The less you know about that, the better. <laughs> I think that's all you really have to know about that. It's not the lamp. We're having power surges all through the TVA. What did you say? Does he already know about Kang? Temporal radiation levels escalate exponentially beyond this threshold. Oofa. I have a fun thought on how quote unquote time works in the TVA since no one actually thought time did work. Is the heart of the TVA. I'll talk about it time after the show. Physical timeline. Kind of looks like there could be some space whales in there. What about the time slipping? Once those doors close, we won't be able to resync you. So it's now Shoot. or never. What? You gotta do it. Hmm. Does that mean we're only getting one episode of time slipping? It's now, but now isn't for a little bit. We still gotta get Mobius into position. <laughs> Green means crew. If you're too late, you will be lost to time forever. 
Okay. <laughs> I think he's yeah, making that up. If I don't make it back, I will yeah. make it back. Right, but when I use this thing, I, I might not make it back. Ugh. You gotta hurry up, man. Uh, now he's gotta hope he freaking shifts back in time. Wait a second. He went to the future now. Jesus. You will age away and you'll get very old and all your skin will get peeled away and you will die. <laughs> He's really specific about the skin. <laughs> You're good. OB! <laughs> Ready to. Imagine he's literally walking towards the sacred time, like the physical entity of the sacred timeline. That's, that's pretty nuts. Oh, he's looking for a pruning device. That timeline is screwed too. I mean, there is still time, but you don't know like when it's going to be time. Oh, shoot. <laughs> what? Oh, my God. No. Oh, no. Mobius, I need to close the blast doors now. Oh, what's going to happen? God. Oh, he has to do it, man. I'm guessing he doesn't die. He just will continue to time slip, right? Oh, shoot. Uh, she must have known? Don't tell me. No, Mobius doesn't die. Oh my god, he literally got shot through there. That's pretty funny. We need to find Sylvie. Damn. They're on their way to cause a massacre, huh? Ooh, boy. That was a good one. I should have checked to see if this has a post credit scene, but I forgot. All right. Where are we? Sylvie is in Broxton, Oklahoma, 1982. I guess that's where she gets a job at McDonald's. She has a dope suit. How do I do this? What would you like? Not squirrel, not possum, not rats. Something that's already dead and nothing else. <laughs> <laughs> I quite like the quarter pounder as well. Oh, she misses Loki. I want to try everything. Or she's 
happy to be away, maybe? I guess we'll soon find out. Amazing. Really good episode one. Uh, sets us in motion of where we are, how they got there, picking up from the end of season one so no one's confused. Really didn't get into any of the Ant-Man stuff yet. We probably won't. Probably until the end of this season. Maybe somehow that timeline or that specific portion of time will sync up with wherever they are. Maybe they'll see it or they'll see something happening on the timeline that they're like, oh man, he's um, getting out of the quantum realm. Hopefully they do. Um, I, I really <laughs> want them to tie this in. But um, besides saying it was an awesome episode, um, there wasn't too many questions I had besides what I mentioned regarding time and how it works at the TVA. Now, we all know in season one, they told us time does not work the same at the TVA. So they all believed it because he who remains, as they said, brainwashed everyone and gave them a set of rules and pruned different versions of them. So it was the same person working there over and over and over. Mobius, 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 right? So they just believe what they were told, what was implanted into them. But the interesting thing now is the question is we see time does work in the TVA. I'm guessing it's only for Loki right now. He's the only one who can shift and, and travel into the past, into the future. They haven't answered that question yet. But the interesting thing is they didn't lie when they said time works differently here. Because as we saw in Avengers Infinity War and Endgame, time travel there states that if you go to the past and say you talk to somebody, they don't remember in the future when you come back. You kill somebody and you go back to the your present, that person's not dead. Because they were talking about like, you know, killing baby Hitler, killing baby Thanos. And they're like, it doesn't work that way. But here we just saw in the TVA, time does work. Um, it's linear, linear, linear. Time is linear in the TVA because he went back in time and he spoke to Obi. And when he came back to the future, Obi remembered. So it works differently. It works kind of like how we all imagine it to work or wish it would work. Like if you went back and you you know, took care of someone who was evil, you'd save the future. That's kind of what it sounds like. So technically, when Loki went back into the past, when he was talking to, to OB, if he would have killed him, he would have not been there in the future in the TVA. So that's kind of interesting. So long-winded question is, does it only work for Loki because he was time shifting? I'm guessing probably yes. Question two I have is, Sylvie was there to prune him. So she must have known what was going on somehow because that would kind of be like plot armor. Like Loki needs to be pruned and who shows up? Sylvie. Like I hope they kind of go into how she knew that had to happen since she kicked Loki out into the past. She was still in the future um, end of time, um, but she has Kang's temp pad. Obviously, she could do whatever she wants and she could go wherever she wants until the battery runs out, obviously. So somehow she would have had to know that Loki was going to be there. And I wonder if there was significance to the telephone ringing. I thought maybe he was going to pick it up and it was going to be Kang or one of the Kangs or he who remains or someone or maybe Sylvie herself. But Sylvie was behind the door, pruned him just in time. So he got shot back in with Mobius, uh, saved their lives. And now I guess no more time slipping uh, for Loki. So we got one episode of it, which is fine. I think that would have been too much to drag on, even another episode, because it's so unpredictable. And you could see sometimes he would come back like fast when he needed to come back fast. So it's it's just tricky because you could pick it apart as plot holes like, oh, he came back when he needed to. Right. So instead of doing it that way, where he would have gotten back in the nick of time, they play Sylvie there. So she could do it where he didn't have to actually go back to the present to prune himself. So 
Loki is a confusing show, at least for me anyway. So when I watch this, I'll have tons of questions and my post video like rants will be rants because it confuses me a little bit. But I really liked what I saw. We got almost everybody back. We didn't get Renslayer this episode. We didn't get Kang this episode. I'm curious to see or curious to know if they limited his screen time, meaning Jonathan Majors because of, you know, what is going on legally right now. Um, I tend to say they probably didn't because it would have gotten leaked, I think, and no one said anything. And he was in the marketing. So I'm sure he's going to be in just as much as he would have um, in general. I feel like when this season ends, if something happens where it's not favorable towards him, they could always write him out and, you know, Kang could probably look like anyone, you know? So we'll see when we get there. But all in all, this episode was awesome. I'm so happy to have Loki back. I don't know it or our Ouroboros, our Oberos. Was that the place that Sylvie ended up in? Let me see. I just got to rewind real quick. Go back. This is going to take me. Oh, boy. All right, let's see. Uh, no, it was Broxton, Oklahoma. So I don't know what our Oberos is. I'll have to look it up. Anyway, what did you guys think of Loki season two, episode one? What did you think of my reaction? Like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. And if you want to see my full watch along to this episode and many more, check me out on Patreon at Screen Sanctum, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace, guys.